now on the circuit and he's found it. He's uh, got used to the car in a very, very short space of time. Now we've got this scrap. It is indeed the battle for fourth place. Oh, on the back end of the number 65 car opposite lock. He's looking right, he's looking left. Is there a way through under the car with the blue and yellow Swedish livery? Yep, Mark Bates is, uh, is pushing hard now to see if he can unseat number of Perfetti from uh, fourth place in the 16 car. I think it's a matter of time, personally. He's looking yeah, very determined. Bates, who races Porsches all gone over right. Europe, and has done for a few years now. Meanwhile, James Cottingham goes through out front. New fastest lap of the race, about 38.640. Still seven seconds away from the... Uh, pole time, but there they are side by side for Fetty and uh, Bates it, up towards Madrick and Bates has managed to squeeze around the outside good So result. he takes uh, that fourth place Mark Bates is gonna run out of road on the outside. He gets very sideways He's got all the lock he can muster, but he's just managed to hang on to it superb And he hit a wet line as well he did. And has got the speed coming out as a result of that sat momentum didn't it? Just just ease by again. So back into fourth place again Perfetti, and that was that all went wrong for Bates at Madrix. He went in too hot, hit the wet stuff, got it sideways, had to fight to keep it on the track, and that left the door open for Perfetti to go through the 16 car, then back up to fourth. These two had it nip and tuck all the way. It's came on here. Back on the Porsches. Brilliant, brilliant stuff. Bates, oh, got it. another snake on there. He's throwing everything at it, using all the track and more. He's and just not got the grip. I don't know, he doesn't seem to have the same He seems grip to be level. finding the slippery stuff. <laughs> not deliberately. Two seconds the advantage up front, meanwhile. Yeah. Him over Gay. Bellinger is still in third place. Perfetti is fourth. Bates is fifth. And Sumter stretching the gap. Perfetti stretching the gap now. Over Bates, the 65 car. And they've all, all eased away from number 77. Down there now in yes, sixth. Mark Sumter. Yeah, it is Mark Sumter. Uh, He's Sum Porsche. In uh, four ashes. The top three have a, a nine second advantage over this pair. And these are at it, door handle to door handle, side by side they are. Perfetti driving out of his skin here to keep the car in front of Bates, who's challenging at every opportunity. There's an opening here, there's an opportunity here, here he comes again, alongside, on the inside, but no. No way through. Is he going to be able to hold it together again? Right on the back bumper. So he's closing out, clipping the kerb, over the rumble strip. There are points where Bates is considerably quicker than Perfetti, but there's times when Perfetti finds that little bit of edge of traction out of the corners. There is Bates at 65. I think Perfetti's driving it all together a smoother race. It's a super battle, this isn't it? Absolutely superb battle. Yellow MGB of Mark Cole, ahead of those uh, snarling Porsche 904 Carrera GTSs. Doing a good job there. Becker and uh, David Clark, who are good mates uh, as well on the uh, circuit. Race leader then, 11, second, 11 minutes remaining, second place. Here's the car then, it's the more than that of a battle. For fourth place, here we are, neck and neck, and who's going to be bravest going into Madwick? On the other side. Yep, having a look at the inside at Madwick this time. There's Bates not much room there, he made it. Through, he's made it, is he going to run deep again? He's gone deep, he's on the grass, he's on the gravel. He's overcooked it again, so take two, and it didn't fare any better that time. So Perfetti retains that fourth place. Must be chuckling inside his helmet. Indeed.